20 years ago, most comic creators never met their fans. <laughs> I'm Ashley Witter, and today I will be drawing Kitty Pride. I wanted to be an artist long before I was going to elementary school. My older brother was into comics, and I just thought the artwork was so cool. Kitty Pride was actually the first character that I latched onto. She was younger, so I related to her. High school did not approve of drawing. We had some sort of special counselor's day where they were like, all right, kids, pick what you want to do for a living. And I said, I wanted to be an artist. And they told me, no, you can't do that. It's not practical. Being the little punk that I was, I, you know, flipped them the bird. <laughs> and they sent me to detention, which was awesome, because then I got to draw more. I started doing web comics, and then publishers had actually found some of my work on DeviantArt. I don't know the world where you couldn't post your artwork online. I did a web comic called Scorch, and I posted online thinking nobody's going to see this, and uh, it blew up overnight. Day one, I knew Ashley's super talented. I could gush forever and ever about Ash. Before him, I struggled a lot. I had worked up this talent, but like. She hadn't really gotten anywhere yet. He had a natural knack for business. You know, I was interested in kind of helping her out with like getting her career going. He inspires me to like really go out there and, and do cool things. And then he handles my business emails because he's my manager. <laughs> he's such a good writer too. It just seemed like every level, you know, we were just on the same thing. It's like, man, I would love to do something with animals. Yeah, so would I. Let's do something with squirrels. Let's do something like this. And it just, it just seemed like everything we were trying to put together, we were just right on the same page. We can really just bounce things off of each other. And like, we just really enjoy creating stuff. When we first got, you know, some real Marvel things, obviously that's, that's when you know something's going good. The first Marvel cover that I did was a variant cover of Dr. Afra, and they just, they told me that they liked what I was doing with her, so then they wanted me to start doing the main covers. I look at artwork as like sculpting, that, you know, in my mind, this is a tangible object and it has structure, and that's, you know, drawing fundamentals 101. If I'm gonna do like a full color piece, I don't typically ink my work. I know that's kind of like the industry standard. It just feels like paint by numbers. So I will do like a soft pencil rendering and then that's when I scan it and then I start doing my colors. With Kitty, I wanted to do more like a warm color because I felt like that would fit her personality where she's kind of more playful of the um, X-Men characters. I'm always getting encouraged by fans to dress up I do put a little bit of my personality into my work, and so just for fun, you know, I will dress up like the characters. The first con that I did with C2E2, I think it was in 2012. Subsequently, every year since, like, I would get more work. I would get, like, different comics and variants, and then finally I, like, broke into Marvel, and I just had my first signing. So doing shows is pretty easy for us. We get to kind of just show up and, you know, she's got a lot of beautiful things to show people, <laughs> you know, and a lot of people already know her from social media and stuff. Nowadays, social media is pretty much vital to having a career in the comic industry. You know, with social media, you're interacting with fans in real time. I can't even imagine what it would be like trying to promote yourself. Social media is a great way of doing that. Without your fans, it's really hard to have a career. <laughs> I have a, a rescue bunny named Poncho. There are days where, you know, I'll be stressed out about work or something, and he just comes running up to me like, you know what you need to do? You need to pet me. Like, and then I feel better. And he has a sombrero. <laughs>